feels murky, like this reddish, orangish haze. Feel yourself? Do you feel like you have a body? I do. Look down at yourself? Do you have, how, how many toes do you have in your feet? Three or four. Like lizard, reptile. Look at your hands. Daily, is there a color to these scales? Feels green. Look at your hands. How many fingers do you have? Feels like three or four. These long nails. Do you feel like you're female or male? Do you feel both? Yeah, it feels like hybrid. Are you wearing any clothing? Are you carrying anything? No, I'm just standing there. What do you feel like you're doing there? I don't know, but it feels lonely and sad, desolate. I shouldn't be here. What else do you see around you? It's just a haze and like big rocks and boulders that look sharp and jagged. It's not welcoming. Is there anyone else there with you? I don't see anybody, but it just feels not safe. Walk around within, within this space, see if there's anything else you're doing there. Why are you there? I feel like I shouldn't be here. Like I'm not supposed to be here. I don't know why I'm here. I feel like I was like exiled or I don't know. Did it again? You say you feel like what? Like I was exiled or like taken there for some reason of like punishment. You're passing time in the, within the space. Passing time, see if there's anything else that changes of importance. You're able to see, sense, feel, hear, know everything very clearly now. Very clearly now. Very clearly. There's like this tunnel it goes in the rocks. I feel like there's something in there, but I shouldn't know what it is. Keep moving time and describing what you're seeing and sensing. Moving closer to it, but it feels very dangerous. Like I'm energetically being pushed back. Like I shouldn't go there. Is there anything within the space that's causing this energetic push? I just feel heavy energy coming out. Like dense, evil, just dark energy. Like I shouldn't be there. I don't know why I'm there, but I feel very alone. Like they're doing something down there and I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not supposed to know about it. Like experiments or torture or something. Have you ever been down there before? No, but it feels, it feels familiar. Like I know what they do, but I don't think I've been down there. It feels like I know what they do, but I don't. Like I, do, I don't know what they do. Keep moving time and see if there's anything else you do within the space. <laughs> like I know that I'm there. I just feel very scared. I'm wanting to go home. I don't know where that is. Like, I was just dropped there. I want to leave, but I don't know how to get out of there. You said that you feel that they know that you're there? Yes. Keep moving time and see if there's anything else of importance that happens here. They won't let me see what happens. Let's go back in time, back in time, to right before this happened, before you were placed in the situation, you're back, back now. You're able to see, sense, feel, know everything very clearly. Tell me what's happening before before you ended up here. You said it doesn't feel like you're meant to be here, that it's not home. Back in time before this happened, you're there now. Tell me what's going on. Being taken there on some kind of like a, I don't know, it's not like a ship, but somebody's taking me there. It's like a punishment for knowing too much. Let's go back even further than that. Back to before you were taken. Back wherever you were at before you were taken. You're there now. Tell me what that's like. Where are you? I feel like I wasn't the same form. Like I was more like human form. The planet gentler. There was more harmony. But something I did or knew, it got me in trouble. Describe to me what you look like. I'm a female. Almost like clothing like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Like this flowy dress thing. And I don't know why I feel female though. I was happy. About your toes and your fingers, how many do you have? I have ten toes and ten fingers. You're able to see your, your face clearly? Describe to me your facial features. Like brownish hair with really piercing blue eyes and an oversized nose, crooked teeth, and what everybody did in that time. And they were all so beautiful. We knew each other's hearts. We didn't care about external looks. It was the energy of consciousness we brought. Your skin tone, what color is it? A pale, pale white, Caucasian. Describe to me your home, your village, this place that you are at. What does it look like? Draw, rough. And very simple, but we were happy. The houses were made of wood and straw and things of nature. We celebrated the elements and our connection to source and community. It felt very safe and comfortable. We were doing things they didn't like. What was it that you were doing? We were learning how to use energy, rapidly advancing, energy for healing, communicating. We're just beautiful. Support.
within our tribe of people on our planet. It was very harmonious. It was as though like our planet was vibrating so high and so beautifully that whatever sense that didn't like it wanted to get rid of it. It was disrupting their paradigm. It was disrupting what they were doing. Tell me what else? What are some of the other abilities you all were working with? What else could you do? We were able to breathe and see the consciousness and the water and the fire, communicate with nature and understand what it was saying back to us and felt harmonious with all the elements. Didn't feel like we were doing anything bad. The technology wasn't advanced, but we knew how to do a lot to support our wellness, heal ourselves, and honor the natural life cycle of birth and death and our connection to God. The, you mentioned that there was a there's a community there, correct? Mm -hmm. You mentioned that, um, do you feel female or male? Female. And are there males there as well? Yes, there are families, but I feel like I'm single. Like, but I'm a part of the community and I feel very connected to everybody there. But I don't get the sense that I have a partner or children right now. Let's go to another important time in this life before you are taken. Another important time in this life. You're there now. Tell me what you're seeing and sensing now. I was littler, five, six, and that darkness was coming for people. We didn't know when they were coming or who they were taking, but they were taking people. When you were little, this was happening? Okay. Tell me what was happening. How were they taking them? I don't know. They were just gone. It was like they were here and then they just disappeared out of thin air. And it feels like they were going to that planet, whatever that base is. Okay, so this has been going on since you were little. How about before you were little? Has Do you know if this has been happening before you even were born? Yes. So then you mentioned that at some point, though, your civilization starts advancing and using energy, the elements. Are they still taking you all during that time of your development? They were picking people that were advanced or, or maybe they were taking them because they knew it would hurt the ones that were advancing and diminish our powers. Like that pain would lower our frequency. Are the, any of these people that leave, do they ever come back? Do they also take children or adults? They do take children. And no one knows how this is happening? Okay, so let's fast forward to right before they take you, right before that. Tell me what you're doing. In my home, we started a fire in our normal ritual and it felt like a normal night. We could feel the energy shift and that was how we knew something was going to happen. It just felt heavy because on our planet, there was only love, collective, just support for everybody. And when we had that, it always meant something ominous. And it was as though the fire kind of shifted and I don't know, I was like, love, I was like, levitating gone were you alone within the space when they took you no there were people around there were only a few and so tell me. like i felt like i was levitating but it was like i just disappeared i was there and then i wasn't and then after you disappear from there what are your next memories where are you i went to planet they're not me reptilian thing it's like they stripped all the power all the feminine created this asexual monster thing like I still had my consciousness, but it was terrifying. Still had my awareness of who I was, but I didn't know how to get back. So we're back back to you. You say that you feel like this hybrid that is not you. And you know that there's something going on ominous somewhere down under, mm -hmm. low. So keep moving time and tell me, what do you do next of importance? Do you ever find out what's down there? I'm killed before I find out something happens or I don't. I don't get to know, or perhaps if I did know, it was in my final moment and I just was gone. Tell me, right before you killed, right before you killed, what are you doing? What's going on? I was approaching that area. It was like there were guards there, and I just wanted someone to help. I was lost and scared, and it was like they were talking, but I didn't understand what they were saying. I wasn't, you know, and it was like I was shot. But it wasn't like a gun. It was, you know, like a laser or something. I was instantly gone. It was a relief as I felt back at home. Okay. And tell me about these guards that shot you. What, what did they look like? I couldn't see their faces. They had like headgear, helmet type things on. And they almost looked like reptilians as well. But they were brown orange, like the color of the rocks in the air. They almost like just fit in with that color. It was such a 
bleak rose color, devoid of any any happiness. They're all cold crawls. Are there many of these cards around? There seems to be like three or four, but there's nobody really that they're trying to keep out, so it seems appropriate. They're guarding whatever's happening inside. There doesn't feel to be really anybody else outside. I don't know why they didn't bring me down there. Okay, so then you're confused and they shoot you and then you leave your body now. Tell me, what do you do next after you leave your body? I'm in the inner life. I'm reuniting with you. Well, you miss, but I have to be healed first because I have a lot of trauma that I'm carrying over energetically. So I'm going to be healed, but I'm so relieved that I'm back. Beautiful. Tell me, how are you healing? And they have a room where you go. It just It's like beds. And the oxygen, the air just rejuvenates you. Like whatever is in there is healing, profoundly peaceful. Like I still have a body, but I don't. It's like the essence of the body I had in that beautiful world. Is there anyone else you recognize within the space as you're healing? Not within the healing space. They've already done their healing, so I'm in there. And looks like we have our own separate spaces to be. How about when you come out of the healing space? Where do you go next? After the family reunion of just being able to be with everybody, just soak up that love, that support, that reassurance that this is real. Um, among this family that you have reunited with, is there anyone that you recognize with him? Yeah. This family? Yeah. He's there. James is there, and my boys are there, my dad's there, my best friend's there, my brother and his wife. It's like everybody that I've loved so much, like they're all there. Greetings. Am I speaking to your higher self now? Yes. Thank you. I love you, honor you, and respect you for all the aid you've given us today. I know that you hold all the records of Angie's different lives. May I ask you questions? Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, wow. So you took her to that life where she was a, you know, a being full of love, and something was happening to them. They were disappearing. Tell me what was happening how were they going from their planet to this other planet that seemed like it was a torturous place? I figured out how to manipulate energy to essentially teleport and capture people and just shift their energy where they want it. Who was doing that? Reptilians from that planet. Okay, so then they teleported her from there to that base there. Um, so before they teleported her, these people, um, they were learning how to work with sacred energy work. Did they learn how to um, shield yet? Were they learning yet that yet? No, and that's why their light wasn't hidden from the darkness. Yes, because she mentioned she was working with the fire and was doing sacred you know, energy work there. And then all of a sudden she was taken. So is that what happened? They scanned and then they found her? While she's working on that? Yeah, they found people that were mm -hmm. higher vibrational and wanted to attack them or attack those they were closest to to drop their vibration. Very calculated, very manipulative. Yeah, they're really good at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so then, let's see what else. Um, okay. And then, so then they teleport her to that planet. And what is this planet, you said there's reptiles there, so is this like a reptilian planet, or what is this place? Yeah, it's a reptilian planet where they are doing their own kind of advances in technology, trying to understand what the human forms were doing, learning from them, yet having their own advancements in different ways, punishing those that were evolving too fast by taking their abilities, taking their sexuality, their identity leaving them terrified. She didn't end up inside where they were doing the experiments. She ended up at top. How did that happen? They weren't ready for her yet. They only take a few in at a time. She was waiting for her turn. So how did she go from this beautiful being, human being, to this, you know, reptile being like a hybrid? How do they do that to her instantly when she comes into that planet? It's almost like they use a shield that makes her think she's lost everything. Like the skin that's not hers. The essence of her is underneath that. But it's like this suit they put on. But it disorients, it confuses them all. And it keeps them in fear, lowers their vibration, keeps them out of their power as they believe they're changed. You mentioned that her feminine was gone. I wanted her to think it was just the skin they put over her. They couldn't let any of them know that their power was still within them. The skin, explain it to me. Is the skin like an actual skin, a technology, a 
spell? What is it? How do they feel the skin over them? Feels like it's not that advanced yet, but they're trying. But it's like this suit that feels very real. So the humans can't see how they put it on. They're just not conscious during those moments. But if there would have been someone there that could have helped her, they could have figured it out. Almost like there's like a zipper. Like she can't see it. Mm -hmm. Mm. I've ran into a couple sessions I've done where they had these reptilian skins. So I'm thinking this is more detail to that. Um, so this reptilian skin, is it like an actual reptilian skin skin they're putting over them? A or a reptilian consciousness energy? Like how do they make this reptilian skin? It's like it's the skin of the dead reptiles that have passed. It's like how you'd skin a cow and they put it over. Again, just the mind screwing with them with their mind and in doing so they get themselves at a vibrational level where they begin to just drop into fear which drops them lower into that darkness like the reptiles are just dark and they're trying to do these tests to figure out how to further infuse their consciousness but the only way they know how to do anything is to keep them in fear and they begin just slowly infiltrating that way. But the suit doesn't have that technology yet. Okay, so that's what they're doing. They're causing, they're making experiments on that. Yeah. To make it more, like you mentioned, to bring it to that. So do they end up, uh, say, perfecting, I guess, their experiment with the skin? Do they end up figuring out how they could do that? Eventually, yes. Not when I'm many years after they do. It's almost like the skin now just like takes over the human skin or whatever they're trying to change. They put it on and it just becomes them and integrates into their vasculature, their DNA, everything. Mm -hmm. So it absorbs into them. So this reminds me a lot of, you know, how um, taking away the feminine, you know, um, making them into something that they're not. So... Mm -hmm. And we know that she received have any connection to her being able to balance this out that happened in that life? No. It was different? It was different. Okay. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. well, I'm trying to think of what other questions I have here. Um, and then, so what's going on down there, higher self? Tell us what's happening down there where she couldn't reach. I'm doing human trials on the people of my planet so they can begin to infuse their consciousness in them and begin to do different things to manipulate them, to prevent them from ascending, from shining their light, torture. They're awake and aware. And these people that they have down there, you said they also have children too? Yeah. Okay, and um, so are these people just from her planet or other planets? Too? Feels like it's just that planet for now, but their plan is to go further. This was just the closest within their abilities at the time. So this is kind of like in the beginning stages of experimentations on humans? Is that what you're saying? A long time ago. And, um, well, this human. So were they humans? So was this an Earth or some another planet? It wasn't Earth, but it was, it feels and looks like Earth, but it was a happier place. People were so light. They emanated love. It was such a beautiful planet. There was no fighting, no hate, no fear, just love, happiness, peace, and that being them mad. And what dimension was that planet in? I mean, 11. I know what that means. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? Um, so what are the lessons, higher self, that you wanted to show her from showing her this life? What did you want her to learn from that experience? You don't have to be afraid. It's okay. We all go back to the same beautiful space. This is all just an illusion. And that no one can take your powers, your femininity, using that divine power. Anything that acts like it has taken it away is simply that fake skin over you. It holds no power and you know how to use that now. You know how to protect yourself. 